Bible said in James chapter 4 in verses 5, do you think that the amen, scripture saith in vain that the spirit that dwelleth in you lusteth to envy? Somebody shout a holy lust. The Holy Spirit in you and in me as believers, he lusteth to envy. That means he's jealous. He don't want to share us with the world. He wants us, all of us. He'll be second to none. That's why 2 Corinthians 3, 17 said where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. Somebody shout where the Spirit of the Lord is. Lord is the name of God and Jeremiah. Means my master, my owner, the one that has all of me. Wherever the Holy Ghost is allowed to be my Lord at, and he's got all of me, that's when liberty comes. That's when freedom manifests. Amen. Here we are on November the 1st. In culture and history, way, way back among the Catholic Church, they called it All Souls Day or All Saints Day. The evening before it was called All Hallows Eve, and that's where even the modern name Halloween came from. And I'm not about to preach and expose all that. You go to Facebook, it's still there. Amen. I got a message on that that, amen, shows us the truth, amen, about where that really oriented from and how its demonic roots are still present. And what goes on with modern Halloween now. Amen. But today was called All Hallows Eve or All Souls Day or, or not All Hallows Eve. That was yesterday, but it was called All Saints Day. And they memorized, or not memorized, memorialized, so to speak, those that, who had died in the Lord and who had preached the gospel, even some martyrs. And I guess there's nothing wrong with that as long as you don't do like some of the Catholic Church began to do at the time they began to pray to the saints. God. It's all right to memorialize the cloud of witness that's gone on before us to preach the gospel that walked with God faithful in the earth. Amen. And lay down their life for their faith in God. That's good. But when you start praying to St. Francis and St. Joseph and, and Mary and all that, come on, somebody shout, that's witchcraft. That's necromancy. And Deuteronomy 18, amen, says God will not share and have among his people. It means talking with the dead. Praise God. Amen. You don't have to pray to Mary. And you shouldn't. You should pray like Mary prayed. Amen. She prayed to Jesus. Anybody hear the Holy Ghost? Thank the one name under heaven whereby men should be saved. Acts 4 and 12. Somebody shout. It's Jesus. Thank the one name that God in heaven will answer prayer in. And that ain't Buddha, it ain't Allah, it ain't Mary, it ain't St. Joseph or St. anybody else, and it ain't the name of some angel. Come on, somebody. It's in the name of Jesus. He said, Whatever you ask in my name, I'll do it. John chapter 14, verse 14. Hallelujah. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be delivered. Job 2 32. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans 10 13. Through his name shall we track down our enemies. Psalms 44 and 5. So I'm going to say it's through and by the name of Jesus. But it, they called it All Saints Day. And it was a day when they celebrated the dead in the Lord. The died in the Lord. Hallelujah. But I began to think about it in another sense. In 1 Corinthians 15 and 31, Paul said, I've died daily. Paul presented to us uh, that every day of his life, uh, he crucified his flesh. He died every day in prayer. He went to the cross every day in prayer. He visited that place in the Spirit. Uh, amen. He laid down his will and took up God's will. And that's why the Spirit of God used the Apostle Paul so greatly and so mighty. He was willing to lay down his life. It was Paul that told the church, uh, amen, in Galatia, in Galatians chapter 2 and 20, he said, I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, but not I, but Christ lives in me. In my life I now live in the flesh. I live by the faith of the Son of God that loved me. There's the cross. And died for me. There's the cross. In other words, Paul said, I'm crucified with him. I'm dead with him. Hallelujah. But just as he was raised from the dead and is alive, I still live. But the way I live now is no longer for me nor about me. The life I now live, I'm still in my flesh. I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. In other words, Paul said, I got more than faith in the Son of God. I possess the faith of the Son of God. I am tied to my will. I am tied to the world. Paul said in Galatians 6 and 14, hallelujah, he said, God forbid I should glory except in the cross of Christ who the world is crucified unto me and I am to the world. All saints say, I believe the revelation could be a new. It could be with this. With the day when all saints come on somebody die to their lust. 
to their passions, to their wants, and their wills. Paul said he never, in, in, amen, took up the faith of the Son of God until he was crucified in his flesh. Galatians 5, 24, the Bible said they that are Christ, amen, those that are his possession, that are totally his, have crucified their flesh with the lust and passions thereof. Somebody say, if you belong to Christ, how you, you've allowed him to kill you. The saints need to be slain again. God grant us a day when it's all saints day, when saints give God their all and they die to themselves so they can live again in him because there's too much worldliness in the church anymore. Amen. When the church ain't no different from the world, amen, no wonder the church can make a difference in the world. Anybody hear the Holy Ghost? God said in his word in Exodus 11, amen, in verse 7, he put a difference between the Hebrews, amen, and the Egyptians. Somebody shout, we're supposed to be different. We're supposed to act different, react different, walk different, talk different, look different, be different. Because we've been made different. Because if any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. All things pass away. And behold, all things become new. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. We get to that. Hallelujah. But here we are on this day. Amen. God says, I want to see some saints die again. You know, that's why the old church called it being slain in the spirit. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Last night, time fell back. And I'm afraid the modern church has fell back. I'm not talking about being slain in the spirit. I'm talking about she's fell away from some things. In the early church, if you were slain in the spirit. You went down, you got up different. Uh -huh. If you went down with a lust, you got up, you was free from it. Uh -huh. If you went down in the spirit, come on somebody. If you was depressed, you got up with joy all over you. Come on church. If you went down with a habit, you got up with a new one, but it was holy. Come on somebody. You may have went down, amen, with a desire that was ungodly and filthy, but when you got up, come on somebody. After falling in the spirit, praise God, you was changed. Something was different about you. Amen. Somebody shout, we need a new sentence. Hallelujah. Praise God. 